it's going to go straight across. And then the angle is angling slightly in and away from you. My name is Nina Buxenbaum. I'm an associate professor at York College. I teach uh, drawing and painting. My students call me <laughs> Professor Buxenbaum. So all you want to change is the light and the shadow. Is that clear for everybody? Well, right now I'm teaching two intro classes and one advanced course uh, in painting. And in my intro class, they're really experimenting right now with value scale and learning about paint application. There are a lot of steps to creating a painting, right? There's the drawing part, there's the paint application, and then there's a, the adjustment. And so if they get these basic techniques down, then they can really enjoy the, the applying of paint, and that comes later, because we don't even get into color until midterm. It's really about learning to observe and le learning to trust what you're seeing. When you paint the egg, just use your whole arm. Oh, th but the egg's pointing the other direction. Yeah. Okay? Loosen up. It's challenging for the students when they first come into the class because I expect a certain level of rigor within the classroom and I also tell them that they need to practice the skills outside of class. So within my career I've had to learn to really make people, students feel comfortable when they come into the classroom but know that no, you're not necessarily going to get an A in this course. You're not necessarily going to get a B in this course. And that attending class every day and being prepared and doing your assignments is average. And that's a C. Anything worth learning takes time and, you know, takes effort. Because things don't necessarily come easy. But if you have passion for it, that's what makes the difference. I show them my work at the beginning of the semester because I think um, it gives them a sense of confidence if they know that I, I can paint the way that I'm trying to teach them to paint. And I let them know that I'm here to teach you every skill, every trick I know. Yeah, probably. Let's see. I like creating beautiful images of women of all skin types and all hair textures in what would traditionally be considered a you know, fine art form, but that you don't see in the museums, you know, unless they're a side character you know, within a larger canvas. I like for the audience to find in it what they want to see. I'm painting what I enjoy and what I love, and I hope that that love will come through when people view the work. Being a great artist is about the work and the passion that you put in once you've mastered some of those skills and techniques, but also about learning new techniques and mastering new skills throughout your lifetime. And that's the great thing about being an artist. Hopefully I'll be making art into my like 90s and I'll be painting from my wheelchair. It is really a lifelong occupation. I feel like if I only were in my studio and I was just sort of solitary in that way, I wouldn't necessarily feel as connected to um, the process of painting. I think I get more ideas teaching about painting and teaching my students and explaining ideas to them than I would if I was not in the classroom. Because we're a small college at York, um, one of the most rewarding parts is that I get to have real personal interactions with my students. Um, I get to know them. They get to know me. Um, they come back even after they've graduated for career advice. And I might just cheat the box a little bit closer. My job is to train artists. It's their, you know, their choice whether they decide they want to use that training or not. And I think they, that students really respond to that. And they are really surprised at the end of the semester by the quality of the work they make.